Bitcoin mining is the most secure investment when it comes down to buying an ASIC miner if it can be secure at all just because um, it has the oldest proof of work mining algorithm um, every year there's still developed more more and more advanced and efficient mining hardware for Bitcoin um, but it has come to that point where the progress is getting slower and slower and in these terms I think this is why um, it is the most secure investment in buying an ASIC miner. Recent months for Bitcoin mining has been very significant because um, you know the, 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 the network hash rate is increased a lot it's more than doubled since January 2019 and it's very unusual for such a large network and so when you look at the explanations usually uh, the uh, hash rate increase is explained because of the large uh, price increase which is also ha what happened in uh, 2019 uh, the Bitcoin price has uh, went three to four times uh, since it was in 2019 in January it's very easy to explain this um, if the coin price grows that means the profitability for mining also grows if network hash rate stays the same and this is where people see the profitability and they are turning on more and more mining rigs and this is where the uh, network hash rate increases and also the profitability drops mining is very unique business which intentions is always to uh, go to uh, zero profits uh, what I mean that by that is that you know if the coin will be profitable to mine there will be switching so many miners that ordinary uh, maybe house user with the average electric price uh, mining won't be any more profitable people are using a lot of strategies to mine uh, Bitcoin some of them even mining at loss and uh, expecting uh, for price increase in future which also uh, very often does happen but this uh, this this type of uh, mining is very risky because uh, technology is still very new and it's very unpredictable another reason why total network hash rate is increasing for Bitcoin is that there has been in in 2019 there's a start to produce the latest uh, mining equipment with seven nanometer chips which are a lot more efficient as the previous successor seven and ten nanometer chip miners and also I do believe that Bitcoin mining has got uh, much more decentralized in the last few years because there has been more and more new uh, mining hardware uh, companies uh, been producing very efficient Bitcoin miners lately um, you know some of them Canon you know silicon microbit STU technologies you know and there's many more uh, very efficient mining hardware companies so this tutorial is about the um, latest Bitcoin miners and miners 17 and T17 um, how to uh, monitor them as, as many of you know whoever got the unminer s17 s t17 or, or even the latest uh, s9 miners you know Bitcoin has come with the update and they are locking down the miners that you can't uh, SSH in them and uh, you can't in install any additional software or you cannot install you do overclocking on the miners so this video will be uh, um, how to uh, go around this and connect uh, your Unminer S17 and T17 to Hive OS and you can monitor them temperatures reboot remotely you know do all the things what you usually can do with the Hive OS and uh, so first of all what you need to do is download the Unminer S17 uh, firmware um, so the link will be in description where to download next thing is that you need to install your unminer s17 firmware on your miner
when you have installed the firmware, uh, use some SSH tool, PuTTY or some similar tool what you're using. I'm using PuTTY for this tutorial. So log into your miner through IP address uh, the same way as you used to log in before. Um, so the username will be root and the password will be admin for default. When you have logged into your Anmar S17, in the console just type first run minus space minus F and uh, th that will open um, that will open a window where to insert the rig ID and the password uh, for connecting to your HiveOS account. But before you uh, insert the ID, you need to log into your HiveOS account. Uh, and uh, if you don't have a HiveOS account, create one. If you uh, don't know how to use HiveOS, I have a couple installation videos on the channel. Just, just uh, take a look on them. Um, but yeah, when you logged in into the miner, just on the top right corner, uh, click add miner and choose add ASIC miner. Type in your name and choose the password what you want for the miner. And uh, then click add miner and then you will receive a rig ID what you will need to insert into the, um, your unminer S17. A console so go back insert that rig ID and do insert also the insert also the uh, password and this will connect your miner your miner should show up in hive OS after a few seconds now create just a flight sheet to connect whatever mining pool you want and click the small rocket button to uh, start mining with your flight sheet. And that's, that's everything you, you need to do. Um, so you have started to uh, mine Bitcoins through HiveOS, connected your Unminer S17, and it will help to monitor your mining rigs, your temperatures. You can reboot them and do all the things you need to do. Um, it's very useful, especially if you do have a large mining farm. I, I, I will admit it, um, and I hope it will, will mine you a lot of Bitcoin. And thanks for tuning in for this video, and mine hard or don't mine at all.